Hello, fellas. How are we all doing? All right. Well, as you've probably gathered, we're out uh, on a bit of river that's local to me, uh, doing a bit of chubbing with the old quiver tip. Um, yeah, it's, uh, well, it's, it's, it's the river where I cut my teeth as an angler, to be fair. This is where it all, all started for me back in the day when I was uh, 10 years old. <laughs> yeah, how long is that? Ooh. Yeah, a long, long time ago. 39 years to be precise. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we're, uh, we've come down, you know, a bit of a nostalgia trip and all that to see if we can uh, do any good with the quiver tip. Um, as you've probably just seen, I'm, I'm fishing this, uh, this nice overhanging snaggy job to the left of me here. Um, well, I've been fishing it now for about 20 minutes just with the uh, bread flake on the hook and a uh, bit of liquidized bread, chucking it in. But uh, no, not had a bite. And uh, usually with the chub, the bites come pretty quick, don't they, usually? You know, you find you sort of flick out and within 10 minutes or so, it, it's gone round. Hey, oh, here we go. Yeah, I think we've got a bite here. Oh, have we? No, we're not. <laughs> you know, we're snagged up. Don't know how that sounded. I thought I had a bite there. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, no, we're not had a bite yet. Oh, look. Caught a branch. Good start, innit? Yeah, no, no bites yet. But uh, what I'm going to do now, while well, we've got this in, I'll just quickly show you what we're doing. Dead simple. That's a, that's a size six. Uh, guard knot in size that is. And the reason I like these, can you see that? The reason I like these is because they've got a longish sort of shank. So the bread flake, you know, you bend your bread flake around that and pinch it on and it stays on quite well so size six incisor and then uh, all we're doing at the minute is uh, the old three shot blink ledge up on a run ring that's one of them enterprise run rings obviously to a bead there look and uh, swivel pulled into the bead with the hook length. The main line's um, seven pound, I think, seven or eight pound. And the hook length is, uh, I think that's six. Yeah, a bit of six pound on the old hook length. And that's it. And that's about as, about as good as it gets. Obviously, with us using the run ring, we can we can switch over to a, a cage feeder if we want to put a cage feeder on and fill that up with the bread. But what I'm going to do now, for the next 10 minutes on this swim, I've made some uh, some smelly luncheon meat up. Got some cubes of meat lot. So I'm going to bang one of them on. What, what we've done with this is we just cube cube the top into quite sort of biggish lumps and what I do with that I sprinkle um, all spice um, herbs on there you know the jar of herbs you get from the supermarket I use all spice and uh, a bit of paprika sprinkle that on and just shake it up in the bag and leave it overnight and it smells beautiful so what we're going to do now is we're going to whack one of these on and flick it back out and see how we do. Obviously, I'll get another 10, 15 in here or so. And if no happens, we'll have a mosey down, down the river and see if we can find, uh, find anything else that we think might hold a chub or two. But as I say, it's been a while since I've been down here. There we go, look. Just push the old hook into the meat, look. There we go. Yeah, it's been a while since I've been down here. 
But yeah, well, you know, I know this, this chub in here, obviously. So fingers crossed, we'll get a bite or two. So anyway, I'm gonna flick this back out and uh, I'll talk to you shortly. See you in a bit. Just had a just had a recast. Just got it tighter to the uh, to the snag. About as tight as I can get it. It's a bit awkward because of how the trees overhang it. But yeah, we flicked it a bit tighter to the old snag. But the floatsom's collecting on the branches, you know. So yeah, we'll give it a few more minutes. Because uh, if Mr. Chubb's in there, he'll snap all that for sure. I don't know if anybody's home. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, like I say this is where this is where it all started for me back in the day. Yeah, used to come down here with me uh, with me little. Uh, I'm gonna say me little. I think it was about like that. I think it was about. I think it was a ten footer, solid fiberglass rod, <laughs> and it was white. I mean, I'll never forget it. It was it was white fiberglass. With, uh, with blue whippings. And I uh, used to uh, use it with a uh, intrepid Black Prince reel. But if anybody can remember them. Yeah, I had the old intrepid Black Prince on there. And uh, used to, you know, fish the, uh, fish the perch bobber or uh, peacock quill. Come down with maggots, you know, and uh, smash minnows out all day long <laughs> with the odd perch thrown in here and there for good measure yeah they were the days I think thinking back because further up that way there used to, there's, a, there's a road bridge and there used to be a weir under the bridge which they took out now just after the bridge after the weir sorry there was like a little weir pool and that was a favourite spot we used to uh, get in there and I think the record for minnows out of that uh, weir pool was I think it was 100, 120 odd one day yeah, I was well pleased with myself. <laughs> yeah, and then things progressed, you know, things progressed as I got older. Used to fish the canal that's not very far from here. And then, uh, you know, your tackle gets a bit better as you get older. And then I think it was, well, I think when I was about 15, 14, 15, you, you know, you discover girls, don't you? And you sort of get sidetracked from the fishing a bit. But then when I was, I don't know, I think I was, I don't know, 18, 19, I sort of started get, getting back into it a bit. And I, obviously I'd passed my test by then, I was driving, so, you know, you'd go further afield, and I used to fish some, some farm ponds that uh, obviously had carp in them. And it wasn't too long before I caught my first carp. And, uh, you never forget that, do you? And then you converted. So from the age of sort of, I don't know, 20, 21, I was caught mad. And that's uh, how the time since then has sort of been spent, really, mostly chasing carp. But as I've got older, I've sort of, you know, come back to my roots a little bit, you know, with the river fishing and uh, even do a bit of law fishing now as well, which is something that, I never thought I'd ever get into, to be fair. I never thought I'd bother with the laws, but you know, a year or so ago, my lad mentioned that he'd like to have a go at law fishing, so I thought, well, yeah, I thought, yeah, I'll buy a bit of law stuff. You know, nothing expensive, a couple of cheap law rods, a few laws, and yeah, I've been doing a bit of that on the on the canals, you know, just catching jacks. But again, it, you know, it gets you out of it. It's a good bit of fun, you get a bend. That's what it's all about, isn't it? So yeah, there you go. Well, I don't think, I don't think we're going to get a bite here. 
because uh, like I say, I'd thought that tip had gone round me now. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is have a motor down the river. See if we can find uh, any other likely lucky spots. Because that's the thing, gotta keep moving, keep mobile. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna push off and um, I'll see you in the next swim. See you in a bit. Here we go, spot two. Oh, I've got one. Not a, not a monster by any, any means. But very welcome all the same. Check him out, look. A winter chub. Only about a pound and a half. I would have thought a couple of pounds at best. But it's a bite. You know? <laughs> like I say, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Getting out. And having a few. Freezing cold he is. Absolutely freezing. Lovely chubbly. Oh, lovely chubbly, I should say. <laughs> Alright, game slip slipped back. See if we can get any more. See you in a bit. Yeah, spot two. Done as a bite. Not a big one by anybody's imagination, but the fish all the same. You know, they all count, don't they? So what we did was we uh, changed over to the, the cage feeder on that for that bite. There it is. I think that's a I think I think that's a Drennan cage feeder. I think it's a plastic one. Yeah, it is. It's a Drennan, 20 gram, 20 gram cage feeder. And all we do with that is obviously just blaze it into the bucket, shove it in the old bucket and keep whacking it in the bread. Get it filled up. Like that. Like that up. Get the old bread in there. And then uh, obviously, a bit of flake on the hook. Drop it out. Just off that snag. It's a bit of a tricky cast again, but it usually is where uh, chub are concerned. You've got to try and drop it in the most awkward places you can to get the bites. But yeah, that's what we're doing. And obviously, good old, good old bit of bread. Stick the hook in the middle of it like that. it on the on the on the shank I like to get a good squeeze make sure you, your points exposed still like that. that's it make it pass that with my finger <laughs> like that look there she is pinched onto the onto the shank with a bit bit of loose stuff on the end get that out there Let's see if we can get another one. See you in a bit. been out there three minutes and it's gone round again this feels like it could be a better fish it really thump round that did Yeah, man. This 
is a lot better fish. Yeah, this one's a bit better. Keep still, boy. Keep still. Now, this is a, this is a bad one. Check him out. There you go. Look at him. He's better. Yeah. Nice one. I tell you, these fish are like blocks of ice, man. They're freezing. But yeah, there you go. They'll feed up with a flake. It'll be jubbly. <laughs> there we go. Let's get him back. Morning, Morning are you alright? guys <laughs> yeah so two fish off this spot i'm just i'm just resting it for five minutes yeah i'm having, having a brew yeah having a coffee just uh get a little bit of a break there's a there's obviously a few few old old up held up in there yeah but um i say i'll get a break and uh <clears throat> we'll put the feeder back out and see what happens you know, if you know what happens, like, I'll get I'll get 15 or 20 minutes, and if we don't get another bite, then we're going to move on again. But uh, I am going to go back to that first spot before I go home because that that's got to do a fish. I mean, obviously, I didn't put the feeder on in there. I just used the link ledger, so it might be the feeder that's uh, that they're roaming in on. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. So anyway, I'm going to have my coffee. I'll get the rod back out and we'll see what happens. The sun's out now, it's lovely now. Yeah, it's a bit warmer because with that cloud cover, it felt a bit cool with, it, with the wind because there's a moderate breeze blowing, you know, a bit of a nip to it, but now the sun's out, it feels a lot better. So, yeah, coolio. Right, I'm going to have a drink. Catch you in a bit. Laters. <laughs> No more bites in uh, the last spot. Yeah, it went, uh, it went dead, it went quiet. So uh, I don't know. We might have spooked the fish out of there having them two bites, but nothing else occurred. So yeah, spot three, which looks uh, looks promising, you know. But uh, you never can tell, can you? So we'll see. We'll get we'll get a we'll get a bit longer in this one, I think, because I can uh, I can move the feeder around a bit in this one. There's a few spots where I'd like to drop the feeder. And then if nothing comes on on the on the bread, might just try a bit of meat out there. Just see, and then we'll take it from there. But like I say, definitely gonna go back to that first spot before we go home and put the feeder out in there. Say we didn't do that. <coughs> Just fishing the link ledger. Feeder might bring a bite on. You never know. So yeah, we'll see how we do. I'll see you in a bit. Just had another one. Yeah, just had another one. About the same size as that first one we had. Up, up the way there. But I didn't get a couldn't get you know footage because I had an audience, you know what I mean? It's always the same, isn't it? Hey. Just uh, just flicked it out on a different spot in the swim. And again, literally 
literally, it was just only out there for a few minutes. But some guy was talking to me, you know what I mean? A dog walker. And then his missus come along, you know. And as he's chatting, boom, round it went. So yeah, but you know how it is. It was deep hooked as well, so I thought, well, I won't mess around, you know what I mean? Just get it unhooked, get it back. But that's number three. Sorry I couldn't show you it, but yeah. I'm gonna get back out again. Hopefully we might get another one off this spot. And uh, you might get to see that one. <laughs> Hello guys, spot four has produced a bite. Not, not probably the smallest one of the day so far, but it's in pristine condition. I want to get hold of him. He's slipping around a bit. Let's get him. Here we go. Look at that beauty. Look at it. Absolutely mint condition. And another bite. So yeah, happy days. So that's uh, number four. Number four in the bag. Great, isn't it? Can't beat it. Bit of winter chubbing, mate. <laughs> right, let's sit this one back, get it back out there again, see if we do another one. See you in a bit. where we kicked off the day. Uh, switched to the, to the feeder, like I said I would, for this time in here. Good, nice lump of bread there, look, on the hook. So yeah, this is it, last chance, uh, last chance saloon. Gonna flick it out in this one. Give it 10, 15 minutes. And hopefully get a bite, if not, I think we might call it a day, because the wind's getting up now. Because uh, I think we're, we're supposed to be with some high winds and rain tomorrow, and the wind is picking up now. So it's, it's making watching the tip a little bit problematic, you know. It's bouncing the tip around a bit. But yeah, we'll get a we'll get a quick blaze in here. See how we diddly do. And yeah. So uh, let's see what happens then. Speak to you again in a bit.